Hey, 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 and welcome back to my channel. We got some great conversation going on today, and one of my viewers submitted a great topic that we want to talk about. It's called spirituality, or um, it kind of goes along with type of like religion, but yeah, we the topic that we're going to be talking about today is spirituality, and more importantly, spirituality in the healthcare field as a patient walking into a clinic or any type of um, place where they have to get a procedure done or have to heal from something. Um, some of them, spirituality has been shown in recent studies to have a big impact on how the patient connects to the therapist or the doctor, as well as um, how well they heal from it, believe it or not. And so... We had a challenging topic that was submitted, and it was um, the patient tells you, the healer, will you pray with the patient? Big topic. Religion, big topic. Spirituality, big topic. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. And this is important in patient care because um, we are the healers. We hang out with these patients for one, one hour a day two to three times a week. So that's a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with a patient. And if you don't connect with that patient and you don't, they don't feel like they're getting the best quality of care or you don't care about them, they're going to not do as well, don't like physical therapy. So we had, a, we had um, some comments going on in my, the, my discussion board we posted, right? And it was basically like I stood in the stance of, well, if the patient wants me to do it, I will pray with them, but I'm not going to lead to prayer. And that's where I draw my line because I don't know about enough about the all these religions out there to be able to not impose or step on their religion's toes or cross any boundaries because I don't know it. And a lot of what um, we read this week was um, they're saying that we need to become more knowledgeable about these things. Well, that there's a lot of religions out there, I feel, that it's too much for us to know. So I would take the safe, the safe route and go and just be a part of it, but I wouldn't actively be the leader of it for that reason. Um, a lot of other of my... Um, my people my comments were saying that um some wouldn't do it they would refer them out this and the other um refer them to another pt that is not out of the clinic but um refer them to somebody that could that better suits their religion or their spirituality um some said i took the stance of mine and others took the stance of well if they want me to lead i will try to lead them that I don't know. That's just that's it's just it's just a lot. Um, and I also think that if they're looking onto us to become such a spiritual guide for them and to heal them not only physically but spiritually, that's where I'm not comfortable. That's where I would draw the line and I would say, hey, like I see you have this other avenue, and since I'm one of your first line of people you're going to see throughout the day that I might notice it more than your regular doctor, I'm going to refer you to the church. You need to go see a church. You need to go talk to a pastor. You need to go talk to whoever you need to talk to in order to become spiritually better so that we're working both fronts, and I think that's where the best one it would be. I would join you with your prayer or whatever you call it, but I wouldn't go ahead and lead. And if I saw that they were missing it a lot, I would refer them to a church. Now, I haven't really experienced this in the clinic yet, but that's kind of where I stand on it. And it'd be more of a take it by basis and see how I feel because it's a very sensitive situation. And if you say the wrong thing, they're not gonna like you. They might not like PT. And they're not going to want to come see you again. And therefore, they're not going to get better. 